Hey guys, what's up and welcome to all today. I'm gonna be showing you how to install OS X El Capitan on your virtual box on your PC and by that you could use any application that is made only for Mac or only for OS X. You could use it on your Windows easily such as Xcode or any other uh, application and by that you could make uh, applications for iPhone using this method. So for that go to Google Chrome and then go to virtualbox.org Right there, click Download VirtualBox 5.0 in my case, and for Windows, click this link. After that, go to the link in the description for the ISO file of El Capitan. Click this little photo, and then click Download, then Download anyway. I already downloaded all these files, so no need for new downloads. Then go to the file you downloaded, the ISO file of El Capitan. Click the first uh, file in the WinRAR and then click Extract to and extract it to the desktop. Click OK and just wait until it finish extracting and we will continue from there. So guys, it finished extracting. Now you could uh, launch VirtualBox, and then uh, click New. Let's name it El Capitan. Um, Mac OS X 10.11. Yeah. Click Next. Then drag this until the end of the green line. Click Next. Then use an existing virtual hard disk. Click the slur button and then choose the file you extracted to the desktop. Click open, then create. Now go to settings, go to system, then uncheck uh, flappy. Go to processor and drag this thing all the way up to till the end of the green line. In the display, drag the memory, video memory until the end, and then click OK. Now close VirtualBox and go to command prompt. In the command prompt, type cd space and then uh, go to VirtualBox properties and uh, copy the start in. And paste it in the command prompt, then hit enter. After that, copy the command in the description and then paste it in a new notepad uh, file. Then go to edit, go to replace and copy the Mac OS X name in the find what then in the replace what type the Mac OS X name in my case El Capitan then uh, click replace all commands and paste it in the command prompt and hit enter second hit enter copy the third Paste, enter, copy, paste, enter. Just guys, make sure that the OSX name is between the two quotation marks because it will not work without it. Now go to VirtualBox and then click Start for the system. Now it is starting. you now see commands coming up if you see warnings or um, um, things that you think that is errors just don't worry it's not errors everything is go all right if you see these commands everything is all right for you 
so just wait um, you should wait around half a minute and then it should load us to the installation menu of, of El Capitan oh here we go just seconds no half minute okay click continue continue US do not transfer any information continue I'll not enable location now don't use and uh, do not sign in I will you could if you want click continue skip then hit agree agree again enter your full name I'll enter uh, any name in my head blah blah any password continue it is creating your account now here we are um, choose the time zone for your city uh, I will not choose uh, anything just continue do not uncheck send the uh, diagnostics and click continue it is now setting up your Mac and congratulations that was pretty fast really um, here is your El Capitan you could use it freely now it should um, recognize it should recognize the keyboard what is that press the key immediately to the right uh, okay and that's that that's pretty much what you have to do and now you could use the the OSX freely I will go to App Store to download Xcode and uh, that's pretty much it really thank you guys for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up Comment down below if you have uh, any question, if you're facing any problem, and I will be glad to help you. And if you have suggestions for new videos, comment down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys again. See you soon. Ciao.